push through and punch through a vision with passion. passion. A vision with passion. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Purpose by Design podcast. And I am Pamela Hinkle. I'm so glad that you are here today and you are in for another amazing treat. Today, one of my friends and partners, we have hooked up and do different things, and I'm not going to elaborate on all of that. She's going to tell you all of that, but Jerisha Moore Smith is my guest today, and she is an entrepreneur, and she is a life coach or transformation coach. You're going to hear all about that. She's a speaker. She's amazing, and you listeners are going to be so glad, and those that are watching, you're going to be so glad you're here today because I know there's going to be just like pearls of wisdom one after another that's going to be dropped, and you're going to be able to apply it to your life. Plus, her story is amazing. So with no further ado, I want to just welcome you, Jerisha, and tell us all about you. Who is Jerisha Moore Smith? Well, first, let me just say thank you so much. I am so excited to be on your show. So who is Jerisha Moore Smith? Well, I will tell you, I am a wife. I am a mom of four. Um, I'm a best-selling author. Um, I have over, my goodness, it seems like forever, but almost 20 years of experience in education, finance, healthcare, business management, development, and sales. I am the CEO and owner of Empower on Purpose, uh, where we provide leadership training as well as personal professional coaching and consulting services. I am also an executive director now with the John Maxwell team, as well as certified coach, speaker, and trainer with the John Maxwell team and owner of Envision Broadcasting Radio Station. And it's like, and, and, and um, a radio show host of uh, three different shows and podcasts, um, one being the Mom Boss uh, talk show, uh, the other one being Empower Hour with Jerisha, and there is a new one that's up and coming that's called Let's Talk About It. And I am just super excited to be here. I'm really looking forward to um, being able to share my story, um, some of my journey, and um, yeah, so it's just super excited to be here. Well, I think that they could put your picture in the dictionary for, you know, like, okay, I'm going to give a statement here, not just a word, but get her done. This is, and then put your picture, like, okay, you have figured out, that's your secret sauce, or one of them, like, how to juggle all this stuff and still be mom and still be wife and still be Jerisha and still be all those things that you talked about. That is really um, amazing that you do all that and you do it so well. So what a, yeah, what you're, you know, you just painted a beautiful picture for all of us to see. And then she, and for those of you that are watching, you can see how beautiful she is. So she does it all with this elegance and grace and is looking good and oh, that's really something. And I, so let's talk about it. So I was going to say, well, let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk. So, that's right. <laughs> let's talk, girl. Okay, so Jerisha, I had an icebreaker question for you, and that was this. If you had a billboard anywhere on any interstate, or maybe all of the interstates, I don't know, what would it say? Wow, that is such a great question. I love it. I love it. I love it because it truly just makes you think. Uh, so I would say if I had a billboard, um, it would definitely say, if you are reading this, you have made it this far. Don't ever give up. In fact, that you, 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 ha you have to know that you can be, do, and have everything that you want in life. So stop making excuses and jump and build your wings on the way down. And I know that is a lot to put on a billboard but I could go on and on and on because I think it's so important for everyone to, you know, recognize just how far one you've come and that you are on this journey, this journey called life to keep moving forward, keep moving forward, be willing to step outside of that comfort zone, every chance, every opportunity yes. that you get to jump and build your wings on the way down. And I can tell you some amazing stories 
Um, and I know we'll probably get into it as well as far as the radio station. Um, but being able to jump and build your rings on the way down and what that truly means to me. Um, there's been so many different times in my life um, where I've tried to, you know, really step outside that comfort zone. And I think we step outside of it a little bit and then we, you know, back up like, okay, I don't think I'm ready to step outside, but we have to truly stretch ourselves. And, you know, being a single mom for, uh, my goodness, years upon years, um, having gone through a divorce and recently gotten remarried, I had to jump and build my wings on the way down. And when that, when I say that, it's all about really trusting the process. Yes. Um, you know, for those that are out there that are listening, as a single mom, you know, having so many obstacles, so many challenges that I had to, you know, overcome, um, there, there were so many times that I really wanted to, you know, throw in the towel. I wanted to say, you know what, I, I just, I don't think I can do this anymore, mm -hmm. but I kept moving forward. I kept moving forward at times I would move forward for my kids and, you know, and then again, it, it came down to, um, one recognizing that I knew there was something bigger. There was something, um, better. And I knew there was some more, there was always that drive, that determination, wow. um, within me to just keep moving no matter what. Um, and I'll tell you that, you know, a part of my story, a part of my journey was, you know, having been on assistance. Um, having lived in low income housing um, at that point, you know, I was 18, 19 years old, um, was giving birth to my first child. I was a baby. <laughs> I was a baby. And I was trying to find my way. Um, I went on to, you know, finish school, put myself through college, um, as well as, you know, getting my, my MBA. Um, and it was so important. Again, it was that drive. It was that being willing to jump and build my wings on the way down and trust the process and trust that as you're jumping, you're going to have those obstacles. You're going to have those bumps along the way, but you have to be willing to pull yourself up and keep moving um, because honestly, it makes you stronger. And, and so I think that, you know, when I look back on some of the things that have occurred you know, over my life, I know now, of course, when you're in it, you're like, oh my gosh, when is the storm going to end? But I know now that it was all necessary. It was necessary because I am who I am today because of the things that I went through. So um, mm -hmm. that is what I would have all over any billboard, every billboard. Um, absolutely. We have to be willing to step outside that comfort zone and and, you know, truly be willing to understand um, the power that's within us. Wow. You know what? That billboard's really big, so you can <laughs> fit it all on there. But this is not just a billboard that's saying, you know, jump and grow your wings on the way down. This is a testimony because mm -hmm. you're not just standing up there being at somebody's cheerleader. You're doing you're saying it because you've done it. Mm -hmm. You have done it, Jerisha. Wow. I feel like I'm being coached already. <laughs> I just want to disclose really quick that I my, my one camera just quit on me. So I had to switch to another camera. So that's why if you if, if anybody was watching that and saw my picture coming back and forth, that's because I was switching cameras, but I think we're all good now. So um, uh, let's continue. You said that you are with John Maxwell that you are a certified John Maxwell coach, speaker, and trainer, and that you now have one more title there. What was that again? As executive director as a part of the John Maxwell team. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. So tell us what all of that means because some people here, many people probably know who John Maxwell is, mm -hmm. probably read his book maybe or heard about him or maybe saw him on Facebook. But what does this mean to be part of a team and to be an executive director, I mean, that's a big deal. How, how, how did it you get is. there? You know, it, it's it's really interesting because it is it's such a big deal. And um, when you know some of the, you know, the journey that I have been on, um, I actually jumped into um, John Maxwell back in 2018. And um, the interesting thing is 
I had a conversation three years prior to that and decided not to jump. Um, I didn't have the conversation just, you know, once. It was three different times. I always say three's a charm, right? So I had this conversation and it's with the same, you know, program coordinator and um, I reached out and I was like, oh, this is amazing. I would definitely, I love John Maxwell. I've always, you know, um, purchased John Maxwell books. I think my first, you know, personal development book was a John Maxwell book and I've always followed him over the years. And I was like, oh, this would be so amazing. Had the conversation. And then I decided after all of that, knew it was amazing that, oh, I don't know, you know, it was fear. I'm like, I don't know if this is the right time. Um, so I let fear take over. Um, I think it was a year later, had another conversation. Again, this was me reaching out saying, I'm ready, let me jump in. And this was after I actually started my business. So Empower on Purpose. And so at that time I was like, you know what? I think that this is would be a good move. Let me have this conversation again. So we had the conversation. And again, I was like, you know what? I don't know if this is a good move. At that point, I thought I was going to, you know, not be focused on my own business, but really promoting John Maxwell, John Maxwell. I don't know how I didn't see it. Um, I, I just, I don't know what I was thinking then. So I made a decision because that was when I had just launched my own business. And I was like, I really want to be focused on growing my own business versus adding this other layer. Okay, fast forward another year. This time had the conversation. I think I reached out again as this time I, you know, had the conversation, you know, reviewed all the information. And then I was like, you know what, this makes perfect sense. You know, I don't know what it was besides the fact that I wasn't ready. It wasn't God's timing for it. Um, because that last time when I had that conversation, my emotions, everything was all involved. And in it said, this is exactly what you need to do at this moment. Having prayed about it, it just, it made perfect sense. Sure. And so when I tell you after saying yes, I cried, <laughs> I got so emotional because I knew that with, you know, EOP or Empower on Purpose, I was, it was all about adding value to others. What I didn't recognize then was that John Maxwell was going to take my business to a whole nother level. And I say that because a lot of the resources I didn't have within my business. I didn't have that leadership, you know, training that I was offering and all of that. So literally all of that was able to, um, one, expand the services that I offered. Um, and it allowed me to partner up with the John Maxwell team, not just for my own personal development, but to be able to help the world. And let me just say this, because if it hadn't been for being connected to the John Maxwell uh, team, or being a part of the John Maxwell team, I would have never even launched the radio station. Um, and I'll talk more about, about that here in a little bit, but I would have, you know, it would have never happened. It was because of connections, because what I will tell you is that since I have been a part of the John Maxwell team, it has opened so many doors of opportunity from speaking, from connecting with people all over the world. It's all about adding value. It's about developing self and then helping others. Because truly, I believe that once we recognize our purpose, then our goal, our goal should be then to help other people in some way, some form. I truly believe in servant leadership. And so this always been my passion. And when I recognized what my purpose was, then it, it just made so much sense for me to go down that path. So you fast forward to here recently, I actually just uh, made a decision to um, become executive director within the John Maxwell team. And truly what has driven that, again, it's all about value. It's about value and being able to be valuable to someone else. So I love being able to empower others for growth and success. Um, and in order for us to do that, we have to pour into ourselves and then so we can pour into others. And so um, the, being executive director, all it, all it does, and I shouldn't say all, but it, it just expands, it expands that reach. It allows you to partner up with each one of the mentors, as I like to put it, and, and John as well, um, in order to go on that journey to offer more to those that we are trying to serve. Because honestly, um, I truly believe it's all about serving. So um, I have just, it's been such a privilege and an honor 
to be a part of the John Maxwell team. Um, I love it. I love the um, the the um, the way that everyone is so willing to collaborate, so willing to be um, helpful, so willing to just you know be servants, or be practice that servant leadership to each other. Um, I don't think I've ever been connected to any other team um, that is is just so warm as as the John Maxwell team. And um, and I, you know, I'll share this and I share this with anyone that asks me um, about being a part of the John Maxwell team, e even the conference. My first experience for, I mean, from from going to conference was um, out of this world. Um, it was emotionally, it was so emotionally for me. Um, you know, having walk into the room one and having thousands and thousands of people who share the same mission, the same value that you do. Like everyone that's in the room wants to add value to someone. I think that that alone was just, you know, just brought brought so many emotions. Um, but I, from that point on, I have been connected to so many amazing people as I shared um, that was one of the reasons or the really the main reason why uh, EB Radio or Envision Broadcasting is actually here today. Um, if I hadn't been connected to one of um, one of our fellow coaches, I would have never even known about the opportunity or learned about being a part of the media, you know, radio or anything like that. And I'll just tell you, that I never had a desire to go into media. I never had a desire to to be a part of radio. Now I wanted to, um, you know, have a podcast. You know, it was one of those things that you casually say, like, "Oh, it would be so nice to have a podcast," and you just say it as though, you know, like, "Oh, if it happens, that's great. If it doesn't, okay." But I never, I never said, "Oh, this is my goal. This is a dream of mine." But what I did say was that I want to empower others all over the world for growth and success. And what God did was open the doors for that to happen. So that is all because of being connected, being a part of an amazing team called the John Maxwell team. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is amazing. And this this whole journey, part of your journey began in 2018, right? Is that what you said? That's yes, really absolutely. not that long ago. <laughs> so it moved quick, but yes. you know, you're a hard worker, but you also said you were in the right place at the right time, that it was the season. And that's so important for us to realize that there are seasons in our lives, you know, and, and you pointed that out beautifully. Now on your Empower on Purpose website, you offer a vision board party. Now that got my attention because I love vision boards. My kids have vision boards. I have numerous vision boards. I set them up for people in our church. Um, I teach on them a lot and have hosted different types of vision board functions. But I just was so taken by this. I'm like, she, she has vision board parties, like advertises <laughs> them and people can like call you up and be like, hey, Jerisha, I want to have a vision board party. So <laughs> would you tell us a little bit about your vision board party and what that looks like? And if someone wants to have a vision board party with you, what do they do? Absolutely. So I'll tell you, similar to yourself, I absolutely love vision board um, and, you know, love parties and <laughs> all of that too. So um, in this, just to kind of give you a little bit of history about the vision board and why I actually started offering a vision board party is because, you know, I have attended several vision board parties. Well, before I launched my, um, my business in Power on Purpose, I um, had done some research on vision boards and I was like, oh, this might be a really great tool to use. So, you know, here I am. I didn't have a poster board, but I was so determined that I was going to use whatever I could find within my house. So, you know, I had a bulletin board, um, kind of, you know, cork board, however you want to look at it. And, and so I had things on it, but I went, took things off of there. I'm like, I'm pulling all of this stuff off because I'm going to use this as my vision board. So here it is. I'm in my living room. I have pulled out magazines and all kinds of things. I'm sitting all over the floor, have magazines everywhere, you know, finding things. I'm like, I need to have this vision board because based on my research, I knew it was something that I need to do 
I needed to do and I needed to start, you know, visualizing and manifesting for myself. Yes. So I did, I did just that. So um, I completed my first vision board and literally when I tell you that next following year. And so what I had on my vision board, I had um, launching my business. I had some books that I wanted to read. I had, you know, some typical things that we put on vision board, but I really want to hone in on the fact that I had launching my business because I feel from me, you know, putting it on my vision board, putting that vision board up and then really starting to visualize and work on that. That is why I launched my business. And I launched my business in 2000, uh, 20, 2016, so 2016. Um, and I truly believe it was because of tools such as vision boards. So because of that and how that tool really helped me and can, I continue to use it today. So if you were to actually see my office, you will see all kinds of, you know, words, empowerment words, you'll see goal boards, you know, a vision board and everything else, because I, I truly believe it's so important for us to not just have goals, have dreams, have that vision. Um, but it's extremely important for us to have that manifested if we want to grow and make boss moves, as I like to, you know, like to call it. So during these vision boards that I host, um, I have done several vision boards in person. Um, I've done it for the youth. And um, which was really fun. <laughs> it was really, really fun for, you know, doing it for kids. But um, now I'm doing virtual, so virtual vision boards. And as you can imagine, um, it is, you know, from a virtual side, it is quite interesting, but it's very doable. It's fun. You know, we still have fun. We still put the music on and everything else. Um, it's still an opportunity to, you know, really connect because the way that I do them, it's a, it's a way of connecting with other people um, as well. Um, so I had these vision board, uh, these virtual vision board workshops um, is what I actually call it now versus the actual parties. And what I talk about is why it's important to have a vision board, how to create one, and then what, you know, what is it that you do with it after? Um, so it's that, you know, then what that I really kind of focus on because so often we go to these vision board parties or these vision board workshops, we have this vision board that is beautiful. And then we get home and it's under the bed, it's behind the dresser. Um, and that's not where it's supposed to be. And not only that, just because you put something on the wall, it's, it's still a then what? Because you're not supposed to see it and just walk past it. You have to actually take the steps to manifest it. And so I actually talk about what that looks like, what that should look like, um, and how how we can begin to really manifest our vision, um, you know, some of our goals. And um, so I break that down. I go into a little bit, you know, deeper as far as, you know, the SMART goals and how we should really be focused on the SMART goals, even when it comes down to our vision, our dreams. So you may have, I want to have a big house when, um, you know, I want to purchase my dream house, if that, if that is, you know, something that you want to do. But then what are the steps that you're going to take in order to, to manifest that? And so I talk about, you know, seeing that, putting that on your board and then having a notebook that goes along with that, uh, that vision board so that as you visualize, you can begin to take those action steps. What is the one step that you can do today that's going to push you forward to having that dream house? Um, and so I talk about that um, you know, with, with the vision board workshops. Um, and, you know, like I said, over the last few years, I have worked with, you know, as young as five up to 60, um, even higher than that on, you know, cause I truly believe that when it comes down to your vision, your dream, your goals, you're never too young and you're really never too old to really start dreaming and, you know, really start taking the action. So I love vision boards. I really do. And um, I'm always looking for an opportunity to, you know, to be able to help someone really create that vision board and understand why it's so important to create that vision board. Yeah, vision boards are really important. And I remember the first time that I created one, I remember thinking, this is silly. I'm just cutting out these pictures, you know. But the person that was leading me in that was was very particular, sounds like you, and, and to teach and explain. And, and I can remember, you know, kind of, uh, you know, rolling my eyes a little bit, like, but they, they wouldn't let go of it. They continue to mm -hmm. pursue me. And 
and ask me if I was taking time to, uh, to get that vision of the vision board, to sit in front of it every day, to, to you know, pray and thank God for it and to take those quality steps forward like you're talking about. And when I saw the outcome, I was like, wow. So to me, they really streamline us in. They help us to really stay focused on the path that we're intended by design to walk on. And that sounds like a lot of fun, what you're doing. And, and that you've been <laughs> able to find a way to do it in virtual is mm -hmm. also really awesome. And you can work with so many other people, right, Jerisha? Because yeah. when we do it virtual, we're not limited to this group here or this area here. We can be working with people from really globally to That's have right. these workshops, which is really awesome with Zoom and StreamYard and others that are out there. Well, let's continue on. You have a radio show, a radio station, and shows, and, and 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 also want you to talk about Empower on Purpose. So we have Empower on Purpose. You've got your radio station. You've got your radio show, oh, and vision broadcasting, all this other stuff. It's like you are this incredible entrepreneur woman, woman panure power. Yes. <laughs> so. Just go ahead and tell us about these in any order that you want to jump in and share, because the stories behind all of them are amazing. Absolutely. So I'll start with, um, I'll actually start with um, Empower on Purpose and sharing, um, you know, and I have shared a little bit, but I'll definitely share a little bit more. Um, so Empower on Purpose was or is a business that I launched, a coaching business that's all about personal development. Uh, professional development as well as leadership training and the leadership training of course comes by way of the John Maxwell team um, being a part of that but you know when before I started Empower on Purpose I have always I always knew that I wanted to have my own business and I didn't know what that looked like so you know being young in my 20s and you know I'm like I want my own business then I thought it was me going down the path of you know, going through beauty school and, you know, getting my own salon and all of that. And um, I truly feel like God had a different plan um, for me. So yes, I, you know, that was a skill that I was able to, you know, um, add to, to uh, my belt, but um, to use it for my own hair as well as my kids now, but God had a different plan for me. And so um, I decided I wanted to go into business. And, and so from, you know, going into business, and, you know, being a part of the corporate world and uh, really understanding, um, you know, the operations side of it. And then I decided to go to, you know, to go and get my MBA. Um, and again, that was at a point where I was still trying to figure out where or how I wanted, what kind of business I wanted. Um, Cause I still did not know. And I'll tell you, I was actually working in education. Um, I was sitting at the computer and I knew it was, again, it was one of those things I'm like, Lord, I really want to have, I want to own my own business, but I'm not sure what that looks like. Now, mind you, this is years of um, empowering others um, prior to that. This is years of giving people advice about different things and really tapping into my own personal development and developing myself over the years, investing in myself. But still at that point, I did not realize that, you know, that was the direction I was going to be going in. So here I am at, you know, in, in working in education, sitting at a desk and, um, and I'm like, I really want to have my own business. So then a name came to me and I'm like, okay, empower on purpose. And I was like, well, um, I don't know, you know, I don't know what that is, <laughs> what that's going to mean at this point. So, you know, something told me, go ahead and plug it in to see if it is, you know, available. And it was, um, you know, across the board. So that's looking at the state to see if anyone has taken that name. Um, I also plugged it in for a domain to see if anyone took that name um, as far as the website and it was available. And I was like, well, I don't know. So, you know, I continued to pray on it. And then again, it came up, empower on purpose. <laughs> this empower on purpose. And then, okay, you know, it's those times where I feel like God is speaking to us. And um, for whatever reason, I was trying, choosing, trying to ignore it and not paying attention to it, um, not recognizing that this is what I needed to be doing. This is what I was going to be doing moving forward. And so, you know, I finally was like, you know, again, kind of coupled up with that, that vision board that I had mentioned 
um, I finally was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and jump and, you know, start the process for the business. And then it was, again, having at that point, getting a coach, getting, um, you know, having mentors to talk about this process, because I was like, literally for me, it was almost like a light bulb went off. And I'm like, oh, you need to continue after school, you know, get your MBA, you know, do what you need to do as far as, you know, going into coaching and all of that because of the fact that this is your purpose. And then when I recognized that, I could then go back and see different things like, oh my gosh, yes, it's always been where I've empowered others for growth and success. Ever since I can remember, I've always really, even from being bullied when I was um, a child, understanding why they were doing that and really wanting to, you know, almost in a sense, hug them, love on them, empower them to understand what was going on within them and for them to not like me. And, you know, so it was, it was really, it was really quite interesting, but that was, you know, some of the process that I went through in really discovering one, my purpose, and then also, you know, me actually saying, okay, I'm going to launch Empower on Purpose. So Empower on Purpose is my baby, would always be my baby, because it's literally my purpose for empowering others um, through workshops, through coach, one-on-one coaching, um, so, you know, through seminars, webinars, and all of that. Um, you know, again, we're using the John Maxwell with speaking and, um, you know, offering different masterminds and all of that. So um, that is how Empower on Purpose uh, kind of got started. And truly, it's all about empowering others um, for purpose. And it's recognizing and helping them recognize their potential um, and how, you know, once you recognize that potential and recognizing that purpose, then you can truly, truly, you know, have, do and be whatever you want in life. Um, but it's recognizing the greatness that's within us first. And I think that sometimes we need a little push in order to recognize that greatness. I know I did. So now I'm able to help others. Now, as far as Envision Broadcasting, so I like to look at Envision Broadcasting as an extension of, um, you know, Empower and Purpose. So Envision Broadcasting or EB Radio, it is an international internet radio station that is in, in over 170 countries. It is a station that is bringing empowerment music and talk radio that will equip, encourage, and empower people all over the world for growth and success. So I actually started this station um, you know, really as a opportunity to provide a platform for people to empower people all over the world and for them to share their message with the world. And, and as I mentioned, if I hadn't been connected to the John Maxwell team, uh, partnered up with the John Maxwell team, I would have, this opportunity would have never came. I would have never been able to, you know, really provide this platform um, because as I shared, I did not have a desire to go in media, radio. I had, I knew nothing about media or radio, but I will tell you, I had some amazing and still have some amazing media mentors that helped me along the way, who has, who has been in the business and the industry for 20 plus years. And so it's, that that I believe that God puts people in people's lives for a reason. And I, I'm just so thankful and grateful. Um, I really feel like I was just a woman with a purpose who prayed and said, God, I want to help others. I want to help others share their voice, their truth, their journey with the world. I want to add value and empower others. And God answered my prayers. And interesting enough, you know, I, I didn't realize it at that time that he was lining things up. And that was, again, by way of me being connected to the John Maxwell team. If I had never jumped, it took three years for me to do it, but it happened when it was supposed to, right at the time that it was supposed to happen. And, and so now we have some amazing show owners. Um, I'm just so thankful, so blessed to even be able to provide the platform for others to share their message with people all over the world. <laughs> so, and then, so one of the things too is I am a host for Empower Hour with Teresha. And um, so that is a radio show and podcast where we um, provide a platform for leaders, motivators, and influencers to come on and share their stories 
to share their journeys to empower people all over the world. I have had the opportunity to interview some amazing people from all over the world that I continue to stay connected with today. Um, it's just really, you know, when you are listening to someone, and I know you can really attest to this, <laughs> that when you're listening to someone's journey and story, it, it just, you know, it really just, it lets you know that what you're doing as far as your purpose is what you're supposed to be doing. There have many been many times where I've cried, you know, we've prayed together. It's just been, it's been so amazing. And I just, I feel so fed when I get off of, you know, the interviews. It's just like, I'm like, I don't know if they understand how, you know, how much it feeds me just in hearing their stories in their journeys and knowing that someone is listening that needs to hear that. So I would honestly tell everyone that is listening today that if you have a story, if you have a journey, you know, don't think, I mean, if you have a story, you have a journey, don't think that your testimony is not one that can help someone. I feel like, you know, whether it helps one person or helps many, um, if it helps one person, it reaches somebody. And if we look at it, if we look at our stories, our testimonies, our journeys as one that it's not for our own, it is for everyone else. It is for someone because it is meant to be shared so that you can help someone else. I learned that a long time ago. And that's why I continue this journey for empowering others for growth and success. Wow. <laughs> you are such a powerhouse. I mean, don't tell Jerisha it can't be done, right? Because right. proven that it can be. So you have your own business that you wanted to start for so long. You finally did. Mm -hmm. And I wrote down a note here that when you were bullied, instead of wanting to bully back or be all mad, you immediately went into how do I empower them? I mean, like I had to stop and write that down. Did she just say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No wonder it, yeah. it drives you, right? Mm -hmm. It does. It really does. It really does. And it has over the years. I'm so passionate. It almost brings me to tears. I'm so passionate about it because of the fact that, you know, kids are bullied every single day. Um, I was bullied um, to a point where I literally couldn't understand why I was in the third grade. She was in the sixth grade, I think it was. And she, for whatever reason, did not like me. And I couldn't understand that. I didn't even know her. I couldn't understand it. All I heard was kids telling me that, you know, she was going to fight me and she was going to do this and do that. And I couldn't understand it. But I was like, I don't understand I don't understand why, why would she not like me when she doesn't know me? But I truly feel like that is, and I have to say this, that amongst us women, um, I think that when it comes down to one, you know, not just comparing ourselves, but really not getting to know. So it's that thing that judging a book by its cover, if you will, and I really hate to even say that because you, you never know what someone is going through. You never know, you know, and we have this thing as women sometimes to, you know, pass judgment on other women based off of whatever we may see. Um, but you don't know. Again, we were kids. And so at that point, who knows what was going on in her life at home? Who knows? But I just remember thinking, how can I, how can I help her? You know, I wanted to help her because I wanted to understand. And again, this is me being <laughs> third grade. I wanted to understand why she would not, you know, knowing that she doesn't know me, why she could say that she didn't like me. And immediately she wanted to fight me because of that. So, you know, over the years, I'll tell you that, you know, it wasn't really a form of bullying, or maybe you could look at it as bullying. But over the years, you know, I've definitely had uh, people, you know, within my um, circle or, you know, people that I've been connected to who, you know, it's us as women, we're judging people and looking at other women and thinking, oh, she must think, you know, it's a thing that they may say, oh, she must think that she's this or think that she's that. And, you know, and honestly, when we look at that, it, it comes down to the person dealing with some issues within themselves. 
But I feel like if I, you know, my thing is I want to be able to help you. I want to be able to let's, you know, let's work through that. And so I honestly felt like at that point, um, being a little girl, you know, not understanding. Um, of course, I was fearful, me being in the third grade or being in the sixth grade. But I just, I didn't understand it. But I, and I wanted to. I wanted to, you know, then, of course, I didn't realize it was empowering. But I wanted to, you know, really be able to empower her. And because of that, you know, that's how I feel now. Um, that is why I really feel like my mission is so strong. And of course, there are so many other stories over the years. And just recognizing how it's so important to get to know someone before you pass judgment on someone based off of what you may see. So you may see this person and think, oh, you know, she has this or she has that, but you don't know their story. That's why it's important for people to share their stories, um, share their testimony so, so that we can support and empower each other. So yeah, that is definitely, um, that, that was really a, you know, a tough situation to go through as a child. And, you know, and I would definitely say for anyone that has gone through bullying or is going through bullying, um, I know it's tough. You know, one of my kids actually went through it as well. Um, and so we had to, you know, deal with, with, with that, but, um, yeah, it's a tough situation. And especially when, you know, I looked at it like, oh, how is there an opportunity to really try to, um, empower, um, and certainly empower others. And so that's, um, that's my journey. That is my mission is to continue empowering others. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I'm always about empowering. Um, I, I, that's just, I think it's just the way I'm wired. I can't help it. Um, as a coach, I'm always looking for those ways. It's funny because my kids will tell you that when we sit down sometimes for whatever's going on, they're like, mom, is this going to be about empowering? And I'm like, I can't help it. You guys are, you should be used to it because that is who I am. So I'm always looking for those opportunities and calling attention to them because of them being at that age where they need to know that this is an empowering moment. You need to listen and probably take notes. So, yes. <laughs> you know, so many people that are bullied either remain as a victim or they become the next bully. Mm -hmm. But what you did, I mean, just that was just heaven guided to you. And when I think about how God would respond to us, he is always looking at us through the best lens possible, right? Mm -hmm. And not judging us based upon our past mistakes. Thank God, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> yes. That you know, for us, we're not supposed to be that judge either, right? We're mm -hmm. we're supposed to see others through his eyes and not our own. That's kind of like my little mantra is help me see this person or this situation or whatever through your eyes and not my own. But just automatically as a young child, that's you did that. I mean, literally, you had heaven's vantage point on that. Mm -hmm. And that is so beautiful. You can teach people who feel mm -hmm. victimized, whether they've been bullied by a, the bully of a person or bullied by life or whatever, to be able to have just a completely different vantage point that'll absolutely put them in the victory seat in life. That mm -hmm. is amazing. And so I talked about a secret sauce earlier, but I think we just found <laughs> the other secret sauce that you have. That is very cool. I, I'm sorry that you went through that, but what an incredible lesson mm -hmm. you have, not just yourself learned and gleaned, but how that pours out of you into all that you do. And what a blessing mm -hmm. for your coaching clients, because then you're automatically going to see the best in them and have heaven's vantage point for them. And that's, that's pretty special stuff, Jerisha. Thank you for just being transparent and sharing oh, that today. Well, we're almost done. Just a couple more real quick questions. Number one, from your unique perspective, what does purpose by design mean to you? Now, not necessarily what my label is or what my tagline is, but those words, purpose by design. What does that mean to the woman 
that embodies empower on purpose. Mm -hmm. So this is, to me, it is so powerful. It's so very powerful because it's, to me, it's all about being intentional. It's all about having that plan. And I believe that we all have a purpose. Mm -hmm. And once we recognize that purpose, it's time to get to work. And so, you know, what you will see is over my journey and me recognizing, you know, that purpose, that is what I did. When I recognized that that was my purpose is to, you know, really empower others for growth and success, then I knew it was time for me to get to work and never stop working. And um, so I truly believe, you know, whatever your calling is and um, whatever it is that you feel like is your purpose, that we have to do it with intention. Um, I truly believe intentionality and really being intentional every single day. So to me, Purpose by Design represents, you know, my life, my journey, and how God always had a purpose because he is the one that gave me the gift, the talents, and, you know, helped me to develop the skills to be who he called me to be. And I truly believe he was careful to put everything in place like it needed to be in order for me to travel on the journey that I had as a single mom who was bent, but not broken, shaken, but not shattered. And, you know, there were times that I was discouraged, but not defeated because it was all necessary. It was so necessary as God began to mold me into the wife the mother, the woman he called me to be. So every day I live in purpose. Every day I look for an opportunity to empower someone else. And as I mentioned, you know, we often think that we have to reach, you know, the masses and many, many people in order to make a difference. Well, I believe that if you just reach one person, that you have done what God has called you to do. And so every single day, I am on a mission to reach that one. And if I happen to be able to empower many, um, then I know that God is showing up and showing out. So I, I just, I think that is what that truly means to me as I've been on this journey called life is really looking at it as, you know, the glass being half full and not ever seeing it as half empty, no matter if I'm in the midst of a storm, just, you know, gotten, just got out of a storm, are about to go into a storm. We have to look at the blessings in that. And I know that's so hard. I had someone tell me, no, there's no way. I don't know how you look at the blessings and, and the things, but, you know, we may not see it right then, but you can look back on it and say, you know what, there was a blessing. There was a blessing in, in all of that. And so that's, to me, that is what, um, you know, that is what that, that's what that means, purpose by design. It's looking at, you know, the obstacles, the, the failures, um, the mistakes that I've made over the years and the lessons I've learned, how I picked myself up and um, kept moving no matter what, even when I didn't want to, I knew I had to. And I think that is what purpose by design means to me and has meant for my journey over the years. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so here are some takeaways, gang, that I grabbed here. And that was number one, being intentional. And you, again, brought in God into that. And, you know, I don't remember who it was that said it, but it says that God's gift to us is life and our gift to him is what we do with it, right? So he was intentional about giving us life intentional about giving us a purpose so god is not unintentional about anything and so mm -hmm. this life that we have to live is important and you said be intentional and then you said everybody has a purpose and that for you jerisha when you discovered yours it was time to get busy and then later you said get to work and you said and you don't stop working you just keep working. Now, that doesn't mean that you're a workaholic. It means that you are being intentional every day with your purpose, that gift of life that has been given to you, giving it back with intention. Now, that is empowering right there. Right there. And even if it's that one person that you're in the drive-through at Starbucks and it's like, 
I just feel like I should, you know, buy their drink or whatever, you know, like you don't know what that is going to be. I had someone one time that I bought their drink and, and it was really coincidental. I don't believe in coincidences, but anyway, somebody, I pulled up and the person in front had paid for mine and I was like, okay, well, I'll pay it forward. So then I paid for them was that person followed me and you know in today's day and age you never know whether that's a good thing or not a good thing when they're (laughs) following you but here this was a life-changing moment for this individual who was uh, really at the end of their rope and was looking for a reason to tie a knot and hang on and it was just kind of one of those moments of like if I you know if you're there God or do I have an existence should I continue living just show me something mm. as they're ordering maybe their last caramel macchiata, right? Mm. And thinking that yeah. that's it. And and then here, someone paid for your drink and that that would be enough. God, you know, God knows what we need when we need it. The universe knows what we need when we need it, you know? And that's what I hear when you're saying this intentionality. And if we're going to be intentional, then we are really operating on that God level, because everything he's doing is intentional and eternal, right? Everything. And so Mm -hmm. there is a purpose by design for each one of us. And then we use that design to affect intentionally other people, which is what you have done. That was just a beautiful way to describe purpose by design. Is there anything else that you want to share with us that you didn't get to share or do you want to tell our listeners and the viewers how they can reach you because I know they're going to want to <laughs> absolutely so I will definitely um, share how you can stay connected with me um, I am on all of the social media platforms at Jerisha Moore um, that's Instagram that's Facebook you know certainly if you want to reach out me um, reach out to me via email Um, You can reach me at jerisha at empoweronpurpose.com. And then uh, please visit the website as well. So www.empoweronpurpose.com as well as the Envision Broadcasting uh, radio station, which is www.envisionbroadcasting.com. And, um, you know, if those that are listening, if you, you know, you tune into the radio Um, or you're interested in podcasts or even starting your own show, please send us an email and we will definitely help you with with, um, starting your own show. So absolutely. Thank you so much. And we will have all that information in the description. So you don't have to try to write that down really fast. It's all there for you. You just need to look down, but it's so good to hear her say it, isn't it? Now, Purpose by Design is also on her radio station. So I can speak from experience that she does an excellent job and really works hard to promote your show and even sends you analytics and lets you know, you know, what your top countries are and, you know, are they listening on their phone or is it on a, is it on computer or where or how? And you've done such a good job and it's really fun to see those analytics when they come and it has the little flag and it says the country it's like oh my gosh okay really i i'm i'm really popular in the virgin islands you know (laughs) absolutely is, is really quite awesome and to be able to have purpose by design podcast listed on Envision Radio and to be able to share that and post it everywhere is is just a treasure. You're doing a phenomenal job and it's been such a treat to have you here today, Jerisha. Thank you for sharing with us your story and I, I so appreciate you. Well, listeners and viewers, I know that you have been blessed today And I know you're probably thinking about a vision party, right? So (laughs) you can get a hold of either one of us and do that, or you can do that on your own. But just remember, be intentional. The takeaways today are be intentional, discover your purpose. And and, and then once you do that, if you don't know how to do that, we'd love to help you do that. But you know, what you can do is you can just get quiet within yourself. And, and, and if you are a person that prays and you can get quiet and pray and you can just seek inside of yourself, what really makes you tick? Jerisha shared that so beautifully from the very beginning, even in your younger years, it was to help others, to empower others. And it led her on her journey 
uh, of purpose by design for herself, okay? So listen, this is really, really a high value. So you find that design that's inside of you and you're not gonna know that whole picture right away. Maybe you will, and if you do, kudos to you. You might just have a little teeny snapshot, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. All the pieces eventually come together, one piece at a time. So you start where you're at. And, and then you're intentional where you're at and you get busy and you don't let anything stop you. Jerisha didn't let anything stop her. Did you hear that? She didn't let anything stop her. Not what education she did have, what education she didn't have, how long she had to wait to go back and get it, uh, whether or not she had to save <laughs> scrimp and whatever to have the finances to do it. She didn't let being a, a single mom stop her. She didn't let a fallen relationship stop her. She didn't let anything stop her because she became intentional about her purpose by design. And then she became laser focused and decided it was time to roll up her sleeves and get to work. And she's still working today. And now not only working to empower herself, but empower people just like you. So listeners, I think you have a charge to do. I know Jerisha and I do. You are here on purpose with a purpose by design. So remember, you are the salt and the light everywhere you go. You have a wonderful day now. And remember, do me a favor, subscribe, like, and share. Let's let the world hear Jerisha's story. And let's communicate that there is a whole nother world out there, purpose by design. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you and have a great week.